So it in game it is about 7 a.m. The sun is starting to shine through, and all of a sudden you guys hear a get up. What is that bloody racket? All right, all right. Let's let's see what's going on here. Oh, jeez, what was rotate again? Uh, control. Control, uh, control scroll one. wheel, like click your character. Control oh, scroll okay. wheel. Okay. As you get up, Kurt, you realize that Valia is not in the bed with Rambi. Hmm. Someone must have went out for a morning stroll. Ah. Uh, sorry, one sec here. Hi, about yes. time someone woke up. Come on, Something get your buddies. Get, yeah, I'm here to show you who out. All right, let me get everyone. All right, guys, everyone up. Yeah, shake Apto awake. What the fuck? And I slap him. No, I'm kidding. What's up? <laughs> it's time to get up. We got some hunting to do. Uh, okay. Where's Kiriko? Uh, where is Kiriko? Oh, both birds are missing. Great. Cool, cool. Rambi, you up? Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, there you go. All right, let's get some, let's get some food. Let's get some breakfast at least. Sorry about that. All right, we're gonna be heading towards the east of Orient. Make sure to keep up. No breakfast? I want brekkie. Alright, you can have your brekkie first. Last thing you want to do is fight something on an empty stomach. I'm gonna throw a friggin' half-eaten roll at her head, wake me up so early. <clears throat> you guys make it down stairs you realize Valia and uh, Kiriko are sitting at a table oh yeah there they are just, let's just head on over right. you just get sit down at the table and Valia goes ah oh, somebody's finally awake Good thing to you to join us. By the time I woke up at 5 a.m., I already did 100 squats, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and I went for a 10-mile run around the uh, town. That's quite the regimen, though. <laughs> Not everyone exactly is an early bird. Um, early bird. I get it. One punch bird OP. One so. Uh, Lady over there says she knows the right place to go. Yep. The plan is to get some grub and then head on out. Was Kiriko uh, doing the training with you as well? Uh, he tried, but he kind of whooped out at mile eight. Yeah, we'll, uh... The push-ups and the sit-ups and the, the, the squats? He... he... He definitely did one. How <laughs> <laughs> does Kiriko look? Uh, uh, good morning, my friends. Uh, he'll like lay out. Uh, today, uh, uh, biscuits and gravy. 
Oh, sounds good. Sounds good. Can I get scrambled eggs? Okay. Oh, uh, no. Oh, we didn't have the eggs today. It's just, just biscuits and gravy. Sorry. No eggs? Yeah, he's definitely getting a happy roll thrown at his head. I'll chuck one with you. Guys, we're supposed to gather energy here. Uh, don't want to waste your food. Otherwise, we can just get going now. <laughs> I'm just going to start munching away. <clears throat> I'll eat too. I, I eat my food graciously, but I, I stuff two rolls in my pocket. <laughs> you stuff the gravy as well. <laughs> Just, nah, just, just, just the rules. Just, <laughs> just, just as wet, disgusting pocket. <laughs> Don't touch my tots. <laughs> Alright, I assume everyone's eaten at this point? Indeed. God? Mm hmm If you're talking, we can't hear you. I was adjusting something. Put it in your inventory. Remember that you have two rolls from breakfast. Thanks. Nice. Those are going to be clutch. Yep. All right. If everybody's ready, please follow me. I don't know. Where did I put the exit door? There it is. Uh, it's right here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't link it. What's that? Is it that? I thought. Oh my god! I thought it was this. Ah, <laughs> uh, were the meals free? <laughs> yeah, the uh, breakfast is free as well. Okay. I made it. Better be. Goddamn! Not even any eggs. Uh, I don't think you... The warp... There we go. I was going to say, is the warp working? you over she'll playfully kick around the ball with the kids you'll uh you'll muffly whisper here whisper something into uh the uh, guard's ear and then I didn't I need to try while you And then you'll hear the guard go. Four going out. Five going out. Go. Switch it. Where be? You mean six? <laughs> six going out. Sure. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you'll hear the gates <laughs> open up. Gate sound. <coughs> As you step out into the gates, you guys start to walk for a little bit before reaching a spot in the Aryan Desert where you notice that there's like 
kind of hills and different plants and another smaller oasis in. And then you guys will also notice all the rabbits that you guys are looking for. are in this desert and you were looking for the uh both the royal cactus uh flowers that can be used for the queen a makeup kit for the queen as well as what was the other thing tea leaves that the queen likes for her tea the specific fairy tea leaf mm. <coughs> alright team how do you want to do this follow your lead on this one well all i know is we're gonna catch some monsters just because you know we have those, those things from kenta are you sure he'd like one of these all right do we want to make our way uh make our way up here and then maybe make our way down yeah, I'd say so. <clears throat> but just to point out, I, I don't think splitting up would ever be the call, especially if there's going to be uh, monsters to search. Right. We got multiple off to uh, the right. I, I don't know what your guys' uh, field of view or vision is like. Yep. No, nope. yep. I can see so them as well. Just okay. I just remember when we were in Aqua Road or whatnot, I, I was able to see a lot farther. We don't know how how hostile these guys are gonna be if they see one one other monster being attacked, so just be ready for potentially everyone coming in. Oh the more <laughs> With that being said, oops, that is that, that is. is not a line measurement. There's definitely a lot of them. That's okay. All right, everyone ready? Yep. Right. I'm gonna, uh, if I um, haven't already, I'm gonna use my Pact of the Blade uh, on Zangetsu, and then on my count, let's get it going. I'm gonna start with this brown rabbit over here, 
and I am going to use Eldritch Blast, and I'm going to blast it from here. Uh, so, target. <coughs> Who are you wild shipping into, Granby? I was trying to look, and I was going to go into, I believe, a tiger. I know I go to the features and I click on wild shape, hold up the, the screen, but I can't figure. Oh, I should. So what you do, um, double click your character, and then in the uh, fourth tab on the right, for like chat message, combat encounter scenes, and then actor. There's a category for you under player characters called Wild Shape. You would just drag Tiger on, but I got it for you. All right, so you said underneath actors? Yeah, actors, and then there's player characters, and you have Wild Shape. Okay. And then drag, uh, make sure your character sheet is up, and then drag Tiger over it. Um... So I click on wild shape. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. And then I keep everything how it is, correct? Like keep vision, all that other stuff. Uh, and just click wild shape. You click, uh, it should say keep mental abilities, keep vision, merge saving, and merge skills. All right, so I, I'm going to check mark keep mental ability, um, keep physical ability. Keep mental, vision. Uh, okay. Screenshot it for you. So those four. Transform all link tokens and then click wild shape. Okay. Key character vision, wild shape. Alright, got it. Alright. Yeah, no, I was trying to get it to a point where I can do this without asking or taking up anyone else's time. I, I thought I'd figure out how. I just haven't done it like this before. Eh, we haven't played in a while. Yeah, it's, it's all been good. It's been a very long time. So it's back to, uh, back to you, Kurt. Yes. Run rabbit, right? Mm hmm. Alright, so it hit for uh, 5 force damage. It knocks the rabbit away. 10 feet? Uh, no, I didn't. Did I take repelling blast? I don't think I did. Uh, I'll double check, but. No, I didn't take repelling blast. Okay. 
Alright, are we rolling initiative or what's happening here? Yeah. Oh, the thing is back. Go ahead and roll initiative. Ooh. Uh, that's just the D20, correct? Uh, yeah. And so in the top right, there's the cross swords. You can just click on your thing. Oh, my bad. All right. Uh, I'll redo it real quick, though. Unless is that good to keep, or... If I can set it. Yeah, it's 14 or, plus. Or do we get an extra plus for the... Because I, I see it's not just the one that... Yeah. Yeah, so click the cross yeah. swords in the top right. Okay. And that should put the uh, the camp combat above it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Jeez, we're all rolling 20s. <clears throat> oh, Great on a peasant mob. It's awesome. So when the boss comes out oh. in like two days. <laughs> we got out of initiative by Kiriko. No. You're, you're kidding. Oh my. That's toxic. Oh, we did. Wow. And it's understandable. Valia did all the work, did her entire workout, and she she might be a little uh, tired, whereas Kiriko didn't do that much. Kiriko will, uh, well, because you um, went first, Kurt. You took the the initial action. Uh, you're gonna have to end. Oh! Move to Rambi. Alright. Um, badly injured. Sorry, features. Twenty uh, feet straight forward. All right, so I'm going to use pounce. I will not let me roll for it. All right, so I, I double clicked on my character. I I see the the features, or this is a passive ability, I guess, so I can't roll. You have to move at least 20 feet. Okay. It says if a tiger moves at least 20 feet straight forward, um, and then it hits with a claw attack on the same turn. So, so that's 20 feet. All right. So you can move up to 45 feet, though. So do I move all the way to it, or do I move the 20 feet and then pounce? You have to move at least 20 feet. So you have a 45 movement speed. So you can go... Do I do... You can go to here. Okay. And then the standard roll for it? Just uh, okay. uh, you would use um, a claw attack against it. Uh, act abilities. Why is it not showing up? Oh, here we go. It's in uh, inventory. All right, so I double clicked on it. It's not letting me. Because I'm, I brought up my page, my profile, and there's the little you dice next to the move point. claw, and on bite and stuff. You have to target the, the target the rabbit. All right. Uh, yeah, it's not target. There we go. Okay. And is that just deemed like a movement then, right? Yeah, that's deemed an attack. So you, you swipe at the rabbit just ripping it to shreds only to realize this rabbit was just chewing on some twigs
Bet you'll rethink that one. Mm. Stuff a twig in my pocket. <laughs> To the next person. All right, uh, combat encounters and turn. Is... Okay, it's my turn. Okay. All right, uh, which way are you trying to head, by the way, guys? <laughs> we can go up or we can go down. Uh, all right. Probably better to go up. I will do 25 feet. I will use my bonus action to summon manifest my echo or shadow. I believe it's 15 feet. God. 15, 15 feet where I can see. I need a roller. Okay. Uh, 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 wait. Okay, I can't move this. Be able to. It is not letting me. Oh, um, maybe it's because it's not hit the token's turn or something like that. Uh, probably. Oh, dang. Can I get rid of it and uh? Or just tell me where you want it. Oh, okay. I want it right here. There you go. Yeah. And then I will throw a dagger. Also, I do have a quick question um, yeah, regarding quick. because it shows Pounce as a passive ability. If I move the 20 feet and it activates a passive, it which is. comes with Claw, technically that shouldn't be considered my action for the move, no? Since I'm pouncing on it and it's getting hit with the Claw, then I should still be able to use like Bite or whatever after. So the way it works, um, you move t you move at least 20 feet and then you have to hit the Claw attack. Uh, the target must succeed a DC 13 strength throw, or it's, if it doesn't, it's knocked prone and you're technically on top of it. That's how it works. Because, but because you swiped at it and just murdered it, like, it doesn't... I just, I, I figured the, uh, well, I know it died, but I'm just thinking in, like, a different circumstance where it... it it's technically considered like a movement if it's pouncing, is how I was taking it. Uh, no, let's see. I was thinking like League playing Italy, I, I pounce, it's a movement and a uh, axes, and uh, I guess a uh, attack. I guess is there a way to link the ability? Not really, because it uh, says it has to. Um... It has to move 20 feet, and then it hit has to hit the claw attack. So it says if the tiger moves at least 20 feet straight forward eight, uh, toward a creature, and then hits it with a claw attack on the, the same turn, that target must take make a strength saving throw. I was going to say, is that... Oh, it might be on... What's the creature specifically? Tiger. Just a little check. Is that, I just wasn't sure if there was a way to like combo stuff like that. Like I, I move, I pounce, because not in every fight are you going to be about 20 feet away. You're usually like melee range and such. Does it does it say that it takes an instant more bonus action? So, okay, I get it. So pounce is not in a, it's It is a passive. But it's basically you have to make a claw attack in order to trigger pounce. Okay. So that, it's like claw sense. attack and move 20 feet. Gotcha. And then you basically get the extra effect from that then, which yeah. stuns it technically since you're on top and they're prone. Unable uh, to... Yeah, it just mocks them prone. Uh, they still can do stiff on their turn. It's just 
Uh, they're just under the prone condition. Uh, is there any link so I can see like what exactly prone does? Like, uh, like give me one sec. I'll link. I'll link you right here. Okay. Thank you. Try not to post and then if, do that in chat because it's, it pans the window over. Oh, okay. One moment. Yeah, just use the Discord for link things. Yeah. Uh, and then when you when you open that, if you hover over the word prone, it'll tell you what it does. We love prone targets. I know, so as you, uh, you th what, did you, you throw your dagger at it, or did you make a... Yes, I threw a dagger at it. Okay. So as you throw a dagger at it, it pierces in the top of its little cactus horn thing, and it, like, snaps its vision to you. Oh, oh. that's not good. Uh, hits it for seven damage. Alright, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm uh, more interested in the rabbits. Dash. Oh, we're be in range. Here we go. Dash over to be with. Uh, Ross. Uh, seeing that uh, Valia is getting herself into a world of trouble, uh, I'm going to make my way over. Split the party. Split the party. Two, three, <laughs> four. Uh, then I am going to. I'm also I'm going to use Eldritch Blast again on the one right beside her. Ooh, that's what I like to see. <laughs> yeah, that thing did. As you hit it with uh, a lightning or uh, an Eldritch Blast, as you crit on it. Oh shit, he did. You see the rabbit just explode. Jesus. Blood Christ. flying on the valley, and she gives you kind of a look like. The heck? Ah! <laughs> Quick yell. I casually uh, watch a, uh, a paw just fly past me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to keep trying to catch one of these. Alright, uh, and then for my boat. Uh... Yeah, no, I'll keep it at that. This rabbit, scared for its life, seeing its friend just explode, burrows down five feet into the sand, disappearing. I like the Would Valia get an punch. opportunity <laughs> attack? <laughs> oh. mm, not sure. Because it's... Depends on what Valley would have done. You see. Burrowing creatures only provoke opportunity attacks if they leave a hole. Hmm. That's what D&D Beyond says. It is your turn, Rambi. All right. Uh, let's see here. Well, if you're down there, I guess yeah. I'm going to move up towards Roz. That is in the... All right. Um, <clears throat> straight. All right. Target. Alright, 
Alright, so I'm gonna go for another pounce. I need to target token. And then pop this out. Run target. We'll go for claw. Why is my thing bleeding? Because <laughs> it only has one HP. Ah, okay. As you run up to it, slash it, uh, you pounce, so it needs to make what? A DC 13 okay. save. Yeah. Uh, strength. strength. Makes the save. It's, it's more only just startled by you, you know, swiping at it. It's your turn. Okay. I will. I will. Screw it. I will switch with my shadow. Oh. Oh. I will move it back. Okay, there you go. And then. <laughs> Yeah, well, attack the cactus attacking. That is attacking Rambi. Hopefully, I get snake attack because I don't know if this counts as flanking. They just have to be yeah, within really five quiet. feet. Okay. Oh, yeet. And then, uh. That is it. Stab the. Cactus in the back, like as you pull out with the sneak attack, rip some of its shorts uh, off, and it's like, huh? Uh, just a heads up, you're missing a sneak attack die. You should yeah. be 2d6 at level 4. Uh, I am level 3 fighter. Yeah, he's level 3 fighter, level 1 rogue. All right. Yeah, I, I totally forgot too. I was like, huh, that's a little bit low. <laughs> that's a little bit low. <laughs> yeah, I forgot but, you were a warrior. Yeah, I kind of... Kind of just sticking with it. Kind of just like, fuck it. <laughs> Found a better way to build it, but oh, whatever. What does Mr. Junior Cactus do? Oh no! Power to your pants, boy. Someone named Junior. Why are they both named Junior Cactus? What the fuck? That should be Royal Cactus. Wait, what? <laughs> are, are, the, are the ones with the blue stripes Royal Cactuses? Yeah. Okay. This is huh, I thought the big cactus. dude was Royal Cactus. This one's Royal Cactus. This one's Junior. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why it's displayed weird. Let's see. As long as we don't see that DL Cactus thing. It. So, the junior cactus realizing that its uh, friend is being attacked will uh, get Roz with a rake attack. I did not think about consequences. Uh, wait. Hold up. Um... Never mind, I didn't knock it, or I didn't make it prone. Alright, yep. never mind. Alright, as it kind of like swipes up at Roz and misses. <laughs> Royal Cactus. Feeling the tiger is much bigger threat. Target Roz. Slam down on it. Oh, hey, yo! That's a lot of dice! Both its hands comes crushing down on the tiger's head, and with its spikes hitting out, dealing 17 damage.
probably is seeing the uh, cactus um, attacking Remy. We'll uh, equip her qu quarter staff. Is that, a, is that considered an action? Is it equipping an item in action, Kurt? Uh, it's a, usually not. Uh, it could be a bonus action. I think it's just up to you. Yeah. Some people make it an, a whole action. Some people make it a bonus. Like action. usually, your first weapon is like usually just kind of a free thing, where it's like you're starting the weapon in combat. You've got your weapon out. Yeah. Unless you explicitly didn't want your weapon out. Otherwise, it'd be a bonus action to just switch your weapon, or depending on like how. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll move up. Attack this one with a quarter staff. It's right on target. How do I play this thing again? Mm. Then with a, a bonus action, I'm gonna strike it with her other hand. Rat. So I'm curious, why is everyone and their brother like 10 times stronger than my, my tiger? Hey man. Uh, it's 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 got to nerf you to balance it, you know? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> so I totally forgot that, uh... I Murdering this cactus. Carico. Carico will run up. Seeing his tiger friend. Stab it with a spear. Let me give her seven damage. All right, I'm going to get closer again. Uh, are there any... Uh, like, I don't know how loot's going to work with monsters in this game. Like, is there a tea leaf on the floor? Uh, from what you can see, no, uh, you do not see any tea leaves. Okay. Uh, I am then going to use... Uh, I'm going to use Eldritch Blast on this one. That's a cool skill effect. And that will be... That'll be my turn. Just real quick, because... Someone's... Somehow someone's moving the camera. Not me, I'm on my character sheet. Is this I'm trying to get back to where it says like uh me. click on spellbook I'm on actions. Why is it not letting me see actual actions? It's on the bonus action page and it's stuck there. For your spells? Yeah, for a tiger, because like before it would show like bite and uh claw. And now it's just it's tabbed on bonus action saying like cantrip first level, second level, and it won't let me. Uh, I even go to features and that's fine, it shows no active abilities under Put inventory. Down. All right, inventory, it doesn't show anything. 
Are you using like your actual character token or what? Yeah, I double click on the character token and it pops up my sheet. It's shown for me. On the left side of your screen, there should be um like where you target and stuff, click the two swords. That'll open up your like HUD. Okay. That should show you like all your actions. Okay. All right, so let me guess what I could do. Uh, token. So I can move up to 45 feet, correct? Yep. It is... Um, yeah, it's your turn. Okay. All right, so then I'll quickly move back 20 feet, and then I'm going to pounce right back. Target. Click inventory. Damn it. It's like I'm gonna give Paco uh, something to do while he's waiting. And don't forget the uh, the dice. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how question? How does it get the uh, the plus four? Like, what is that from? It's from uh, strength the, modifier. Yeah, the modifier. So it has a nineteen strength. Mm, gotcha. So it succeeds the save but it takes 10 damage okay I'm whittling it all right seeing Rambi get clobbered I'm just gonna fucking unload I will attack again with my rapier is that a super and... fight for anyone else sorry I was What's saying, on? is Zapta super quiet for anyone else or just me? Oh, uh, I'm gonna put my mic closer. Hello? Yep. You're good there. Much better. Alright. Zapta swings uh, and just completely misses. Uh, well, and then I will use. Not wanting, and... not wanting to hit the tiger. Just, uh... I, I somewhat ducked down, like, what the? Hey, man, you're, you're in the way. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, do I have to hit to do this when you take an attack action? Okay. So I'll use a Unleash Incarnation. And my dart will come out of my shadow, launching into the cactus. Ooh. Okay. Max damage. Nice. And... Yeah, well, that'll be it. It's for 14, it punctures its eye, and it's like, ah. Punctures its eye. Not quite an action surge moment yet. So I'm still trying to hit you, Aptos. Gonna reach up and try to swipe you again. Technically, shouldn't it uh, have to make a dexterity check since its eye is now? It's got one eye. It's definitely <laughs> no. It's the one in front. One this one. Uh, the one above me. I think it's. I think it's prompting you for something. Is it? Because uh... yeah, it didn't do the damage. 
I don't see anything. Oh, here we go. No, I don't see anything on my screen. But the. Yeah, I, won't... I don't have any prompt on my screen. This thing. Did, uh. Does two damage to you, leaving some, uh. Oh, what, what happened there? Did I click something? Alright, sorry, ignore that. I think I clicked something that I shouldn't have. Well, cactus now blind. MD, MD. Very much injured. Oh, I didn't know about the damage. I didn't. I didn't. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think did like three down or so. Jeez. Like that back. I'm gonna play damage, right? That's weird. She got 25. This one's gonna hit you after. Just can't quite see. Dart in its eye, just swinging rapidly. I'm slow. Polymath said, "Death perception." The cactus water coming from one of its eyes. <laughs> This one, seeing you it, it attack your friend, Kurt, it's going to come up and do the same to you. That's just one target. Try and swing down at you. We could just, like, dodge to the side. This one's scared. It's going to go running this way. And this one's going to come up. Slam on Valia. dodging out of the way also. <laughs> Up the room. Uh, Kiriko's gonna s try and aim for this one. Kiriko has... Uh, search I'm not sure if his eyes not showing action search I'm like just Baldur's Gate brain rot, because that's what my—that's the mode my brain's in right now. Still, <laughs> I was gonna stab it for eight damage. Seventeen. Kurt. 
get muted. Thank you. Uh, so, see these guys in front of me? I'm going to use Booming Blade on them. Uh, and then I am going to... I'm going to get closer to... to Valia over here. As you, uh, you provoke up an yep. opportunity attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that uh, is that range? Yep. Uh, one, one, thank you. That does that. I'm going to use my reaction to cast shield. Okay. As you go to, uh, as you're running away, a thing comes and slams down on you. All of a sudden, you wave your hand and a blue shield comes over you as you run over to your friend. All right, and then um, my, for my bonus action, I am going to use Hexblade's Curse. I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it on him. Uh, and then that'll be my turn. Maybe. All right, um... Okay, I'm going to target this and bite. It has one HP, don't it? Doing that. Also, also something to know, Justin. Uh, I guess the Booming Blade didn't roll the weapon's damage. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, Rampy. The 1 HP is perfect. So I'm just trying to think, what's my weapon damage? It's, uh... Let's see. Inventory, you. Where's what? the, uh... Where is it, dude? Alright, so when I'm reading my skills here, it says attack, um... Plus five to hit, uh, five feet, one target, and it says hit eight. What does the hit eight mean? I have to roll eight, or is it I have to roll five? On a bite? Or... Yeah. It says hit eight, one die, ten plus three, so I get uh, plus three damage. Oh, that's average damage. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, that makes sense then. His average on a d10 is 5 plus 3, it's, it's so 8. Five. Right. And I so, need to roll at least a 5 to hit it. Uh, so roll a uh, d8 plus 4. So that's how much damage uh, the raw cactus took from the weapon damage. That should be 60. Sorry, four more? No, I I did it. It was six hit, so it did five plus no, thunder. No, no, no. No, the thunder's only if it moves. Oh, okay, so it should have just been five. Uh, Roz, your turn. Uh, all right, Justin. I don't know how how this how these monster capturing devices work because I can't use them as an item. But oh, I want to throw one at the the cats that we're fighting right now. Or the straight pants one. Well, it's like pretty much a right. He's going after the other eye. It's um... <laughs> Let's see. Put this put that oh. Where is it? What is this fucking Pokemon? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Basically. 
<laughs> that's like the one thing I've like remembered throughout like the months. These are uh basically a prototype Pokeballs, dude. Um Let me see. I, I thought I wrote it down, but I didn't. So go ahead and throw it at it. And just just roll a d20. Sorry. Go ahead and throw it at it and just roll a d20. Uh, I can't, like, throw it as an item. It's because it's just a trinket. Yeah, uh, it's a consumable, so you would just click it. Just roll a, a d20. Oh, yeah, no, it, it doesn't appear under consumables. It should. My consumer screenshot. I literally, uh, it's not there. Just roll a d20. All d20. Okay. Essentially, it has to make a charisma saving throw uh, against a 17. Cacti is evolving. <laughs> oh, oh, get in the ball! Let's go! <laughs> As you, so you throw this ball at it, it hits its head, and all of a sudden, the ball just makes a weird sucking sound and drops to the ground. And you, and you see the little capsule thing close up, and the ball shrinks and flies off into the sky. Oh. That was kind of more anticlimactic than I thought. Or do you want it with you? Oh, no, that's that's fine. <laughs> Rocks three times on the ground. The mi the middle part of the ball, the button just ding, ding. Basically. And I assume that just flies to Kenta. Uh, did, is that my action? Throwing the, the thing? Uh, yeah, that counts as an action. Okay, just wanted to make sure. There, there you go. That's my. That is my turn. This one, like, <laughs> like scared at where his friend went. It's gonna try and hit you again. Oh, 
just goes and smacks you for two damage. But you don't hit me though. Your shield should be gone, right, Kurt? Uh, until the end of my next turn. Okay. Big shield's OP. This one's gonna come up. And then boom! <laughs> and then it takes hit. one point of thunder damage. <laughs> gonna try and hit you and just like smash it on the shield this one still fleeing Smash on you and break your through your shield. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Holy wait! Whoa! It did just enough to to get past shield. Twenty four. My God. Was your DC? I was at twenty three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're seeing that it's gonna. Um. Regarding Good. movement, if you use a dash, is that counted as your action? Yes. Okay. Probably seeing how much damage it does to you, Kurt, is going to pull her sheet up. She's gonna fuck it up. one of her key points and she's gonna target all martial arts die plus wisdom what's a martial arts die uh I don't remember if it's D. F Hold on. It changes depending on your level, I believe. Monk. Uh, where's the table? Martial arts is a D4 at level 4. It's a D4 plus wisdom. So. Dumb question. Every time that we uh, get extra levels to our class or whatnot, so heal for, for six. A druid, would that unlock more to the their their form? Like instead of just having bite and claw, would it ever have more than that? Uh, no. The tiger itself has bite and claw. You have other things as a druid that you can do. So shape shifted or oh, yeah, if you shape shift well, back. You have other options. Yeah, basically the whole thing which with Wild Shape is as you go, get higher in level, you get better monsters or better transformations to go into. Yeah, so like instead of, let's say, a tiger, it's maybe like a saber-toothed tiger. You're like a which Pokemon. The increased damage and such. All right, got it. And the fun thing is because you're, you, you're a moon druid, because you're seeing these monsters, you can now transform into them. Oh. You'll turn to a cactus, bro. <laughs> Alright, so that was uh, four plus what's her wisdom? Uh, two, so six. Alright. Uh, I guess I'm going to do that manually? Yep. Uh, so that'll be... Sorry, gonna... sorry, what was her... 
uh, her her modifier is two. Yep. So six. Okay. And she's gonna use an arm strike as a bonus action. She can't because she didn't use an attack action. Here we go. He's gonna run up with his spear. I don't know why it doesn't show that he has a weapon on the uh, thing? It's annoying. The targeting system. So for my bonus action, I am going to use uh, Wrathful Smite and just coat my uh, sword with this energy. And then I am also going to use Booming Blade on it for my main action. Oh, oh all right. it hits. Whoa. It hit, and it's going to need to make a, uh, let's see, a Wisdom Saving Throw. So it deals an additional uh, four points of psychic damage, and then my weapon's attack was. Is so it prompting it you to do the saving throw? That's weird. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be prompting me. <laughs> it should be prompting you. It is now frightened. Ooh. So. So just uh, it's six six slashing, four psychic, and if it moves, four thunder. And let's see. And, and of course, be because turn? it's it's frightened, it wants to move. <laughs> so was, what was it six slashing, four thunder, four? Uh, four psychic, and four thunder if it moves. <clears throat> Ooh, that's that's a nasty. And right now I'm maintaining concentration on that uh, on that wrathful smite. Yeah, it might be your turn. Brady. Uh, that one's badly injured. Is the farthest I can move. Would uh, focusing on dodging, like if I dash, would focusing on dodging be like a bonus action? No, dodging is an action. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> what does this say then? I'll uh, just commit to this, I guess. something because for some reason the royal cactus still is showing us junior cactuses but 
for the last haven't been doing my things from my advantage from flanking. But... <laughs> that was some pretty nutty damage, though. That's nice. <clears throat> Almost max, right? Oh, no. Is it because I attacked it from its side, or like does that positioning have anything to do with it, or? Uh, Kerika is flanking. Yeah. So oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you, so you see how it, above it it says flanking apply to Rambi. That means you got advantage. So uh, you just come on and just crunch it, and the bottom half of its body just kind of falls over. Oh, that was a net twenty-two. Wow. Casually start pawing out some of the freaking needles out, out of my jaw. <laughs> as uh as you spit at do you spit out the thing or what? The needles? Uh, the uh the or do you swallow the fucking cactus or what do you do? Uh, no, I just started drinking some of the water. It was, it was getting a little hot. I meant in character. Do you? What are you doing with like? Because you bit off half the cactus. Yeah, I'm gonna spit it back out, and then you know, I, I noticed there was water inside. I casually start just drinking it. As you bit. spit it out, you realize that there was a flower attached to it. Why it is so big on the screen? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's the fire we need, huh? Cool. You guys need <laughs> ten of those. I'll say five of them. Ten of those. I'll say five. Five of them. <laughs> that's that's fine. <laughs> oh, sorry. One more thing, Justin. I just realized it has Hexblade's curse on it, <laughs> so it de uh, so it dealt an additional. One moment. Uh, I think it's based on my proficiency bonus, which is a. What is it at four? Uh, two. So it did an additional two damage. Oh, this guy's just stacking damage. <clears throat> Oh shit. Is it my turn? It's a. Uh, this one, because it's frightened, it wants to run. I am going to take an attack of opportunity at this point as well. <laughs> attack of opportunity on it. Oh, and that's going to deal an additional two damage as well from the hex blade. <laughs> Bullying him, bro. <laughs> and then it takes the four thunder damage. <laughs> like what, 15 from opportunity attack? For 16. Combat. <clears throat> this one's gonna attack against Valia. Oh! Uh, uh, <clears throat> what happened? I Are think that was a natural twenty. <laughs> was. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! That is sixty-six. Oh. She can use a reaction. Just give me a second. Get her reactions. Oh my God! It's not a range oh. Attack. Hmm. It was an arranged attack. So it couldn't have. Yeah, it's not deflect this. Valia slam down, gets hit really hard. Needles all in her. Four HP. 
Oh my god, I'm just gonna die. But she's not here, bro. <laughs> I won't kill her character. <laughs> uh, if you did, I'd be like, yeah, he said, uh, that's what you get for not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use another key point and do a, a hand of healing on herself. Heal herself for 5 damage, 5 HP. Shit, if that's all it takes to have an invincible character, I'll just uh, not show up for the battles. Show up for everything else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He should be at two, not four. Do you know at, at what point Taco makes his entrance or whatnot? I just kind of feel bad. It's been like two hours. Yeah, I thought he would have been here by now. I'm good. I know when. I just wasn't sure if like we're in the middle of a fight and he just randomly shows up or some crap. No, he, he broke it down for me. Uh, I'll be alright. Okay. He'll help it. He'll help it. Erica looking, sensing his friends in danger. Ross, I think we should help them. All right. Erica, let's take a dock action. <laughs> all right, all right. Erica will dash over 50 feet. All right, I look over to this cactus and like, uh, no, you don't. Uh, and I'm gonna, let's go. Yeah, let's go booming blade. Uh, I gotta target this one now. Yoink. And then for the actual damage. <laughs> Oof. All Making right. Good job, Kurt. Doing doing Cod's work. So that's what six damage. Uh, five right now. Five. Only the ones only if it moves. Uh, then that will be. <laughs> That'll be it. Right. Um, I'm gonna perform a dash action. Get over there, Randy. 90 oh, feet. 90. 90 feet. Uh, oh, you're probably hitting the wall. All right, and I take it using a, um, Healing potion on someone, is that a bonus action or a regular action? It's a bonus action. Alright, uh. You're in your tiger form, so you don't have your stuff. Alright, that, that's. Unless, you, uh, unless you dismiss. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright, I'm, I'm staying in tiger, I guess. There's more monsters, and I can only shapeshift twice. Yeah. Um, okay. I will pocket the flower in the ground first. Oh, I realize what it's doing. Or does Rampy have it? Because I, I assume it's still, still just there, because it's on the ground. Yeah, you, can, you should be able to click on it and pick it up. Oh, okay, cool. And then I will do my shadow right here. Wait, right here. And then I will switch places with it as my bonus That's a bonus action, action right? Yeah, bonus action. Mm -hmm. And then I will... I don't know how to do dash action because I don't... Just move. Yeah. Just move your max speed. Okay. Oh, it will not let me move now. It will not let me move. Because it's like, it's red. It's fine. 
So 60 feet from there. Right here. And then all the way right here. I think I should reach. What are you doing? What are you going to do? <clears throat> then that's Don't it. Worry. That's all I can do. And my shadow is gone. This cactus just towering in fear. Afraid. This one realizing that it's uh DC or? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure now because you went from talking to all of a sudden it's I had just cut out mid. Uh... That's not who I wanted to target. <laughs> Oof. I wanted to target Ross. Ow. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh -oh. Just me. <laughs> yep. As you come running up past it, as it, as you're running up past it, just kind of reaches out and gives you a nice little smack in the face, leaving needles in your face for ten damage. My pretty face, no. <laughs> Probably trying to. Get her energy back. God, I hate that it just doesn't drop the targeting automatically. It's gonna swing on with her uh, quarter staff. And then make a bonus action arm strike. It's gonna hit it for 11 damage total. No range. Cool. I'm dashing in. Yeah. So, like, Kirk can get his flanking. All right, let's go booming blade. And then actual damage. If... So nine points. Four if it moves, and that'll uh, that'll be my turn. Was your turn? Mm -hmm. Wait, what happened to Rambi? Oh yeah, for, yeah, for Rambi's turn. I hate that it doesn't, because I I like I used to like the the thing that it highlighted whose turn it was but it that one defected when they updated to this new system like i didn't update it mm. wow. Wow. okay there's that and we need to target and a chomp <clears throat> Balls. Eight average damage, my ass. <laughs> Just attack it. Uh, uh. There you go.
13 piercing. 13 plus 5. Uh, I guess I'll use my bonus action to resummon my shadow. Um, right here. I don't know if you want me to take out another one or if you want to just move the existing one. Yeah. Because te technically it dissipated when I like dashed it over. <clears throat> what do you want it? Right here. Oops. And that'll be it. This one, realizing that something else coming towards it will run away. Does that one take damage? It still occurred? Or no? Yeah, no, no, you don't take damage. Okay. Uh, dang. <laughs> <clears throat> this one in a lot of stead Judgeford. Gonna pick on the weakest one in the group. Yo! Not the boy, Kiriko! Smash him into the dirt. Kiriko. Loses his footing, kind of slides inwards. Head just above the sand. Volley is gonna do the finishing move of. Winds up. Smacks it on top of the head and bashes it with an unarmed strike. Monk thing. Let's go. It falls to the ground dead. In its little apron thing, you guys find another flower. Valia before uh, after she goes spare that one I want to talk to it the one that's running away yeah oh. <laughs> Erica will uh, just lift himself out of the sand one now How are we going to stop it? Uh, things tougher than it looks. I don't know. Uh, well, what do you yeah. want to spare it for? <laughs> I want to talk to it. And she like kind of like. Like. Moves her mask. That's on her. Her blue mask. Oh. Okay. Trust me, we'll find out. Well, if it's if you want to talk to it, well, I'm gonna drop my concentration on uh, on frightful smite, so it's no longer afraid. And then uh, so. If, do you want me to weaken it, or do you want me to just go to something else? <laughs> However you can think of without killing it, I guess. I have an uh, okay, so I'm going to pick up one of the flowers first, okay. or the flower that's here. And then uh, I'm going to make my way over. Just click the flower. Oh, okay. Should add it to your inventory. Uh, and... uh, that should be enough. And I'm going to use Eldritch Blast. Boom. Oh, so f let me check Hexploit's Curse because that might be a crit because I rolled a 19. Uh... <laughs> 
Let's see. Features. I don't know if it's with a weapon specifically or if it's for anything. Um, Man's out here with 99% crit. That's like the second time in three attacks. <laughs> uh, if any attack roll, I think it's a crit. <laughs> wow. On a 19? That's or crazy. 20. <laughs> Or 20 though. Holy so shit. it's gonna deal. So that's two. I'm gonna roll another d10. Uh, that's d10. And then it takes an additional two damage from the curse itself. Okay, so six, six damage, damage. <laughs> total. Uh, and that is going to be my turn. I mean. <clears throat> all right. Um, what's all left? Just uh, the cactus the over here. Yeah. We've got stuff below. We've got stuff above as well. Holy shit. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to... I can't because it's I forgot I can't use a potion not like that all right um I guess I'm just going to move towards <clears throat> here what okay there we go I had clicked and tried to reverse my token there we go wait and I guess I'll just do a dodge Actually, you, have, you have 45 feet of movement, Ruby. So you only move 20. Well, I'll move there and end my turn, though. I just don't feel like getting attacked. I got 20 HP, and last time this thing hit me for, like, damn near 17, so... <laughs> well, keep in mind, it bad. doesn't transfer to your regular body. This is, like, its own set of HP. Oh, uh, yeah, your wild shape is, uh, yeah. You're, you're tanky tanky. So essentially, like, if they shape. if they hit you for, say, 20, you have 20 HP right now, if they hit you for 25, it'll knock you out of wild shape, and you'll take 5 extra on your uh, base form. Help! Anyone out there? Help! No, uh, 2 HP bars. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, oh, baby. I will move my shadow. Oh, well, you can just move, move it because swap places with me because I'm going to move it here and then just swap. And this here? Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and move your token over there. It's not letting me. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's like I don't have movement for some reason. You might have to do it, Justin. Yeah, I, I, for some reason it's not letting me like have any movement. Sorry. And then can I? I don't. I don't know what the plan was, but I guess I'll just look at Shisui and hold hold the the mon the fucking Pokeball up. And see if you're okay with it. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, and then I don't know if I have to be right next to her or if I can just throw it from here. Uh, it says, I believe it says 60 feet. 60 feet. Yeah, you're fine. Feet. Okay, yeah, so I'll throw it. Uh, 1d20, right? So I can't use the... I've rolled two. God, God. I guess take the lower one. I just... It's, uh... It's, um... 17 was the first one. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, this one is... It's charisma, right? Yeah, charisma, I'm assuming so. Now 
would like it to not shoot into the sky. If, if it does go in, it's not going in the ball. <laughs> Damn it. Dang, that's, that's my turn. This one kind of confused with what it. You just hit it, so we'll just continue to uh, walk away. It's gonna try and get reinforcements. Yo, I should have just killed it, bro. I'm stuck in the sand. Anyone out there? Help! Oh, what are you doing, huh? Stop, cactus? Oh my God. Oh, Stop. No. <laughs> Not like this. Which one going to skip? This guy's is, uh, is fast, dude. She can do 50 movement. Yeah, monks get crazy movement. <laughs> they don't monk shit. That's not even including Step of the Wind. Yeah, step of the Wind. That's the dash. Dash, Step of the Wind, I think it's like... Like yeah, it's three times your movement. Yeah, Jesus. Granted, you could do that as well after once you get to level uh, two, rogue. Yeah, because I get a cunning action dash, right? Yeah. And then I also have a have free movement with my thing too, so I basically have, have the same. Double dash, switch places. Uh, is switching place an action? Or a oh, bonus wait, action? Oh wait, no, it's a, it's a bonus action, so I can't. Yes, yeah, so you wouldn't be able to switch. Yeah. Hey, I was gonna move in. over here. Help! Alright, um, so just a heads up, in an hour and 15, I will have to cut out like 30 minutes yep. early. Um, one of my buddies, he needs help moving furniture. Okay. <laughs> And okay. he doesn't really have anyone else. It's fun. We're gonna probably end by then. That's great. Yeah. Sure. Uh, do we- do I hear anything? Uh, make a perception check. Uh, you, you can hear a voice uh, coming from off in the distance. In which direction? Uh, downwards. Towards where Valia is? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to move up here. And, uh, hmm, badly injured. It's... I could take another Eldritch Blast. I think, I think we just kill it, bro. <laughs> and then plus two. Because <laughs> of the, the curse. We gotta, like, fight five more of those things, bro. Dear God. <laughs> Leper boy. Uh, sorry. I was letting him know that I I can make it. Apologize. <clears throat> um. All right. Well, we're we're just gonna do this. And. And then the strength saving throw for prone. It's a uh, DC 13. Yeah. So is the DC 13 based on what my strength and stats are? No, it's based on the creature stats. Okay. 
it'd be 10 plus your strength modifier, most likely, which is a plus three. It fails it, so it is now prone. Gotcha. That means now it'll, all it can do is crawl. <clears throat> or if it attacks, it has disadvantage. Well, it could use half its movement. Get up. There it goes. Oh. Uh, well, run up for... Dude, why can't I have, like, move? Yeah, I will run up here. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, I still can't move. Why does it think you, you don't have movement? Yeah. For some reason... Yeah. Could it be the shadow is yeah. somehow... I know. Nope. Um, I'm not letting me. That's weird. I don't know why it thinks that you don't have movement. <clears throat> I'd like to make a perception check to see what's ahead. Good. A nineteen. Oh, we got a call out. Marco. Oh, sorry. I got buried in the last sandstorm. Help. Can't pull myself out. Do I see where that's coming from? Or you, uh. A person? You don't. You... you don't see a person, but you can hear, like, the general direction, but you just. muffled. Oh! Stay here! Sounds like he's stuck. What oh. direction is he facing? Um, don't have my action. I guess I will... I, I'll use my action to dash. And then... Move... Oh, fine. Like... Right... Yeah, like right there. <laughs> and then that'll be... That'll be it. Hopefully they don't notice me. Cactus will just kind of lay there, giving up. <laughs> Valia, noticing these ones over here, will uh, use her mask and uh, will cast um, Animal Friendship. <clears throat> And she'll call out to the cactuses here. You guys there? Do you guys hear? And she'll walk up. Do you guys hear? Is there someone in trouble over here? And they'll kind of like... And like gesture that they were... They've been trying to dig someone out of the... The... Fossil. And they'll uh... They'll guide Valia over here. Part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> Valia left One of us. Them. One of them. She'll call out, guys, over here. And she'll, uh, she'll take out her shovel and her minor pick and just start chipping away at the uh, dirt.
Marco will see Valia uh, run over. And as he uh, runs by, he notices one of the rabbits chewing on a tea leaf and yoinks it out of the, them. Yo. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna booming blade this one that's on the ground just like finish this thing off uh, that should be with advantage since it is prone so I'll uh, just roll a d20 again <laughs> that's a crit 99% <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> crit rate coming in hot <laughs> alright so that's gonna be another uh Oh, it didn't even do the damage, so that's... I like that dino fossil. Let's see, roll. It's D8. Uh, 2D8 plus 4. So, 6 or 10 points of slashing damage. Plus 2 because of the curse. And then yeah. 6. Actually, I have to roll the thunder damage twice in case it moves. So, slash our D8. So if it moves, it takes 12 points of thunder damage. And that'll uh, that'll be my turn. Oh, it's this HUD. Okay. I see now. Uh, it's messing it up. Wondering what this was. Talking to his daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Sorry, um, the missus and little one just got back. It's on me. Yes, sir. Your turn. Um, I guess we'll just finish this thing off with pipe. This is weird. I'm targeting. That's that should be with advantage. Oh, uh, I just clicked bite and it didn't show anything to roll with advantage. But I think it's hold shift and then click it. Okay. <clears throat> um. That's. I, I had shift held down as I clicked it. It didn't uh, do anything. Yeah, let me see. Forget what it is. And now I think I'll I just go to my inventory. Okay, it's still not. That works. Yeah. No, I, I want to. Because even when I click on the dice, normally it doesn't. It's not giving me any options for like advantage or disadvantage, or even normal. So, uh, hits it for 10. Rose. Okay. I will... Oh, I can move my thing now. Alright, guess I figured it out. What was it? I... I used the select token thing on the side. Apparently, I guess it wasn't selected, I guess? But I... Hmm. I, I don't know. You have to do that every time before I go to move. Okay. 30. And then... I guess, uh... I'll just dash. And then... Wait. Let's move here. Oh. So I'll just move above. Right over here. Let's help. <clears throat> and then I don't really have a thing. I guess I'll just start shoveling dirt with my hands, bro. Wherever Valley is digging. And so that's my turn. What 
to say. The cactus wanting to get away. Moves five feet. And, oh. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Instantly dies. And with that, I am going to heal eight uh, points because the curse killed. Or because the of the curse. That's four four. Exploits curse. Oh yeah, making progress. Starts revealing more of the bones, digging away of the sand. Here go. We'll come over and start ditch swiping with his spear. You're the most that he can do. Mm. Seeing what they're doing over there, just to make sure I'm not. Uh, one, was there any flowers? No? He did not have a flower on him. Okay. Uh, I am going to dismiss Zangetsu, put him in its pocket dimension there. Uh, and I'm going to make my way over. Uh, I'll dash. What the, what the hell? So. I guess I'll try and help if assuming it's in this general area. All right, um, I'm also going to perform a dash. <laughs> And that's it for me. We're <laughs> um. still going like combat. It's like uh, combat is over. I, I don't. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think we're in combat anymore. So you guys have free movement now to try and rescue this person? You're so close, please help. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I'll use... I assume we just continue, we're just continuing to dig. Yeah. Wherever... Yeah. I'll, I'll use my passive um, keen smell to try and track him out. Is there Ooh. Wow. something I gotta roll for? Roll a perception. perception. With advantage. Here, here, I got you. Okay. Perception. I have the regular dice that I can do. I got it. Uh, so it's got a plus three to its perception. It is a wisdom. Play advantage on it. Well, you can smell. You smell a. Uh funky scent it doesn't to you it almost like as if it, there's nobody there but at the same time there is somebody there and you can smell them out right here all right oh man what is this uh, it's like the the scent of freaking curdled milk and goat cheese <laughs> i started digging right here yeah seeing seeing the the sniffing gesture i'm going to assume that he's that ramby found this person i'm just going to help start digging with my hands a shovel kurt i do i was gonna i was checking to see if i actually had a shovel i, I do not have a shovel i do have a shovel <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use <laughs> that's why i said i'm using my hands but you have a crowbar 
Is, is that more efficient than a shovel, though, you know? Dig. Or than my hands? Mm. Mm. Grants advantage to strength checks where crowbar leverage can be applied. Can yeah. this be applied here? <laughs> um, as you're digging. I'll be right back, but, uh, bathroom. Okay. As you're digging, all of a sudden you start to see a hand kind of like peek out from underneath the, uh, the, uh, skull. The sand. Oh. The sand. You see fabric also oh, intertwined within the rock. The skeleton. I'll, gr I'll grab the hand and attempt to pull them out. <laughs> right, make a, uh, hold on. So... Is there like a is there like a strength check that I can use to pull or like pull someone? Oh, uh, you could use would athletics work? Uh, you could I just use flat strength or strength or athletics or maybe yeah. athletics? Your your call. Yeah. I think it'd just be more strength. To me, they're gonna be the same thing anyway. Yeah, they're basically the same thing, honestly. Well, just... So, I'll just roll. You, um... <laughs> no. I just put concentrating uh, on you. Hmm? Put concentrating on you for some reason. What the hell? Oh, he was concentrating on the spike. No, I dropped that. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh... Alright, so we'll say it's a, uh... A DC uh, 10 to pull Ye Paco out. Uh, right, I'll keep digging around him while I try and pull him out. I, 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 I use my crowbar. <laughs> I tell him to grab the crowbar. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm, I'm reaching out here for advantage, you know. <laughs> and I guess I'll try again as time goes on. Does uh, how does doing it first? He's just... yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Do I get advantage? Normal. Dang. I'm reaching. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> Is that what Twenty-one. Pulls as hard as he can, ripping through the sand with the crowbar. A young female uh appears. Oh, that's not a him, that's Just her. Hovered in sand. I uh, thank the gods, finally some travelers. Who paid from the sandstorm for many moons. I was traveling for supplies. Thank you many... that I'm amazed you survived. <laughs> many moons? Yeah. What in the world? Got buried more and more. I ran out of supplies and I was on the journey for more supplies. I didn't have any food or water, but thankfully the local brown rabbits have been bringing me plenty of food and water underground, but they just were unable to lift me out. Oh, damn. Huh. We're heartless. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen them today. I hope they're okay. Uh. Anyways, uh, thanks for helping me out of here. No, pr for no Randy. problem. Oh, and don't worry, this tiger's not going to hurt you. Well, that's okay. I'm great with animals. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. We'll continue to... <sighs> speak with the, uh... Cactus. I'll, uh, I'll kinda, I'll just kind of go like this and nod <laughs> and take their leave. Uh, I looked at Vali and said, what did you say to them? Uh, 
kind of explained the situation. We were looking for the flowers, and it was a misunderstanding that I was going to try and speak with them first, but then uh, you had to just go and shoot your magic ball and piss them off. Huh. Well, I did ask if everyone was ready and had any objections. Well, well you didn't raise your I mind. didn't. I didn't That's hear all. you. I was trying to catch my breath from all this heat. I'm sorry, you said you shot a magic ball? What did you shoot with the magic ball? Shot a vulture. Oh, alright. Yeah, there's a lot of those. It would pick me off, so thanks for that. You're echoing through Rambi. Oh. I'll be mine. If you can hear me on here. Well, anyway, what's your what's your name and uh, what's your story here? Uh, my name is Taco. I uh, was traveling across to the local town to get more new spices for my, my taco. I run a taco stand in another town. Sorry, you were very. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, it seemed like you were going through Ramby's mic for some reason. Yeah, just talk through your own. Meet and Ramby. Is it like by by me? I guess I'll talk a little quieter. Is it, is it fine? I muted Rami, so you oh. can you can talk through your own normal. Okay, well that works. Said, <clears throat> my name is Paco. I was traveling across to another town to find new spices for my tacos. I run a taco stand in another town. All right, on. Uh, what kind of spices were you looking for? Well, I wasn't sure, but I heard. A lot of things about some uh, new ones that I have, un un I am unfamiliar with in this local town. Hmm. Well, the name, uh, well, the name Shisui. Uh, we've basically been, uh, are out looking for, um, let's see. Oh, wow, I'm so dumb. I keep clicking, I'm pressing I for thinking inventory. <laughs> God damn it. It's, it's uh, the Baldur's brain rot and Tanya. The Baldur's and Maple brain rot. Anyway, uh, for cactus flowers and some uh, tea leaves that can be found around here. Oh, maybe I can help with that. We can maybe ask some of the local rabbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surely they'll be happy to help Shisui. Just, just look at him. Well, to be fair, <laughs> our intel was a little off here. Let me see if I have anything else on me. <clears throat> In the meantime, I look over to Vali and it's like, did you ask them to get the things for us? Or what was this? No, I just asked them if uh, they could assist us any further. And I also asked them about the uh, that lost pyramid that one guy was looking for. They don't know where it is. They said it's buried in the sand. Interesting. We said that we should probably also head out shortly. Oh. They weren't. They weren't specific. Uh... <clears throat> I'm guessing there's a. Is there a sandstorm coming? I look out towards the horizon, just like, do I see any? Anything out there? Uh, make a perception check. Which way are you looking out towards? I'm climbing on top of the. Storm. I will. I will look westward. Uh, where's my uh, perception? Hmm? Uh, are you? To my left, essentially. From what you can see, you don't see anything. Uh, hmm. But anyone else can. Perception. If they want. <clears throat>
<laughs> from on top of the skull, fossil looking around. Oh. 17. Hey guys, I think I may have some of those roll, tactics. Just roll perception, Remby. So like, click your tiger, click attributes, and then click perception. That time. Yes, I think I have some of those uh, cactus stars and fairy tea leaves you're looking for. Right. After being the highest to roll, uh, over a 15, we'll see this. Someone. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there's a there's a pop of cactus, guys. My point ahead over here. Oh shit, my mic was busy. <laughs> I was like, oops. Team? Sorry. Uh, so, okay then. Um, yeah, we should prob- uh, that was probably a good warning. We should probably, uh, potentially head on back. Uh, sorry, it was Paco, right? Yeah. Okay, so I wasn't sure if it was actually your username or just like, y yeah, you're doing both. Okay. Uh, so what will you do, Paco? Oh, well, I do. Mm-hmm. Time to well, change fate. Considering that I am now lost and not sure where I need to go, uh, may I join you guys? Well, look, I look. I look over to the rest of the the party. And it's like, you guys have a problem with that? As long as you're okay with just constantly facing peril and death, sure. Uh, never bothered me. Uh, right. I guess. I have some, some cactus flowers and fairy tea leaves to give you guys. <laughs> okay, that works out. Let's get out. Let's uh, get out on out of here. I smell taco furiously, looking for food. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the tacos? Where are they? <laughs> Maybe what you can from what you smell. The smell of taco does not match the appearance of him. <laughs> Thus, he does not smell like a taco. And here I was just looking for food. I knew it was curdled milk and goat cheese. <laughs> oh, you guys, this tiger friend's a little too friendly. So, uh, might as well. Oh, let's walk and talk here. Uh, 
so I mentioned I'm Shisu, and then uh, the tiger friend here is um, is uh, Rambi, not an actual tiger. Not an actual she just tiger? she just transformed into one. So aren't we supposed to move if that thing's getting closer, or are we going to it away from it? Yeah, yeah no, we're just I'm walking and talking. I'm stuck. <laughs> I am also stuck. I am you stuck. Guys are supposed to Hang on. One, one, one second, one second, Taco. I got you. If you're, if you're I was stuck, say we pulled right. you out. <laughs> right, I'm behind you. Oh, there you go. You still stuck? Uh, not that I'm kind of stuck. stuck. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Uh, can't with this tiger. <laughs> eh, that'll wear off. Guys? Hey, what's uh this thing over here? Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened to my my cactus friend? Uh yeah, he tried. We got into a confrontation. What, what, he, he what happened? <laughs> he must have got attacked by vultures. Thank god you guys killed one. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just, you know, head back, you know. No need to explore the area around. That was quite brutal. It looked like he had been hit like six, seven, maybe eight times. <laughs> Vulture used peck. <laughs> it's super effective. Well, I really hope the my rabbit friends don't get attacked by vultures. Oh, hey, is that a? We'll be fine. Is that a, yeah, guess, is that a rabbit here over here? I got a lot of sand. I can't really tell with all the sand. It's alright. I won't keep you guys with. <laughs> As I casually just bring over part of the paw. Drop it in front of Taco. Oh, you have a lucky rabbit paw. I wouldn't show them that. Uh, you guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. Enter back towards Arient. With the thought of the giant cactus that Aptus saw in the back of his mind, thinking, "What the heck would was that?" Uh, why are we cornering up on me, guys? Hmm. <laughs> Continues smelling furiously for food. <laughs> guys. I like hmm. I think he's uh you will be meted by the lady at the gate. Well, did you find what you were looking for? <laughs> yes, we did. And who is this? Uh, this is a new companion here. Uh, this is Paco. She actually helped us uh, finding the 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 flowers and the tea leaves as well. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. She'll, uh... Paco, nice to meet you, Paco. And she'll, like, shake her hand. Uh, sorry for all the sand. So what's the what's the plan now? Well, uh, shall we shall we make our way to the inn and discuss uh, what our plans are? I would say yeah, that's that's fine. Getting out of the the heat and whatnot probably be best. You can drag it farther than that. It's free movement right now. It's just during uh, combat. You're only limited to move to like the green to yellow. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my distance from Tiger Lady. Well, I assume at this point you've transformed back. 
Oh, I see. Mm. I see. I see that he transferred back. I still don't know who Tiger Lady was. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just let that one play out. I take out one of my uh, my biscuits, half eaten, and lob it over at Taco. Had enough of this. Uh, can I roll to catch it? Make a dexterity saving throw. setting it up for you guys. What's that? A what? Hey, what was that? I don't know. It was an anvil? What's the anvil? I've never even seen an anvil on a dice. What kind of hack shit is this? <laughs> Go ahead and All click right, your dice there. They weren't expecting it. I'm, I'm taking advantage on this one. They didn't expect it. May the odds forever be in your favor. Mark, go and uh, click the your, click the dice and shot. And advantage. Why is it highlighted? Another one. Oh, oh wait, the other one was a twenty, then, right? Yeah, the anvil on yours was, was a twenty. It was oh, a lot. I was I was doing a contested roll. So. Uh, What's a basic weapon? Courage is 1d4. A weapon? Oh! It was a lob, not a, uh... <laughs> it's a biscuit, damn it. Yeah, a biscuit yeah, but... wouldn't do that much damage. Well, considering that he was in the desert for so long... It yeah, it, it turned into, like... We'll say it's... Uh, right we'll say it turned as hard as a rock. Most. All right, we roll a d4. Oh, damn it. Hard as a rock in the desert? Wait, what? <laughs> that thing is dry. Hell yeah. Bob's it smacks him straight in the head. And as Walker tries to like Ugh. Knocks him off the chair. It's in knocks him off the chair. And thus you have been initiated. Welcome to the team, glad to have you. <laughs> uh thanks for the biscuit. You're welcome, meet up. You even throw like a tiger. Tony the Tiger didn't get this big just eating Frosted Flakes, all right? They're more than good. They're great. <laughs> just wait till I serve you one of my tacos for the first time. All right, so uh, do we know? Uh, so with regards to the tea leaves and the flour, do we know if the uh, queen prefers them to be prepared in a certain way? Do we do we have enough? If that that's what I wanted to ask. Uh, yeah. Do we ha even have enough? How many do you guys have? I have one. I have one. I think Kiriko has one. Kiriko has one fairy tea leaf. One I have tea. none. Okay. Oh, you guys got three already. Yeah, you probably don't need mine then. Well. I was gonna say, dude, I don't know how much we needed. We needed five, I think it was. I think we needed five flowers. I don't remember how many tea leaves we need. Five flowers, ten tea leaves. Oh dear God, we don't have. <laughs> how many we tea don't tea have nearly have? enough, bro. Wait, how many tea leaves do you guys have? One. Just the one. One, one tea leaf, and how many do you need? Ten. 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 I thought it was five. Ten, five flowers, ten tea leaves. <laughs> Yeah, I was in the impression when Paco said that they had enough, it's just like, yeah, they had enough. Well, I've had enough of this tiger throwing biscuits at me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got nine tea leaves, guys. We'll be right. <laughs> Sorry, missing 
three flowers? I can't just pull out the other hard as a rock biscuit from my pocket (laughs) and I look at Taco and point to the biscuit. I grab a I wad up the tea leaves at the cactus flowers and I throw it at Rambi. Also, what you can do, um, double click your character and go to inventory and you can click send a player next to currency. (laughs) Next to currency. Or no. Okay. You can go, or my bad. Uh, scroll down to the loot and the flowers and the tea leaves. And then there's, uh, yeah, next to the trash can, there's the uh, scale option. Yeah, I got you. Uh, so who do you want me to? <laughs> you said two flowers? Balia will just kind of collapse on the table, wings spread out, and just. Let's do that. I did it again. I kept. I kept pressing I. <laughs> oh God. It's with the brain rot. All right, and I gesture over to um, to Siren. I'm just like, all right. So we've got we've got uh, we've got the stuff here. Do you know if the uh, Queen prefers them to be uh, be prepared in any special way, or is this just going to be enough? How should I know? You guys are the ones that talk to the Queen. While you guys figure out this tea stuff, I'm gonna go get some food I haven't eaten in days. I mean, it's restaurant. Sorry, was, uh. What's. Um. Why am I blanking on names? Was Valia the only one who went to see the Queen? Yeah. Valia was the only one that went to see the Queen, and Randy was there as a cat. Um, Oh, wait, yeah. And then I'll look to you guys, like, okay, so. Do you guys know uh, how they want them prepared? Nope. I do not. I think the only one in the meet in the meeting was Valia. I went to see her. Uh, nope. Did- Justin, does Valia know? <laughs> I'm trying to find her notes. Oh my, my gosh, I was muted. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I was going to say, like, I don't really remember the whole interaction that, uh, and this is out of character, by the way. I don't really remember mm-hmm. the whole interaction that we had with Queen because it's been like quite some time yeah. since we last played. Yeah. Uh, all I wrote was to do list makeup kit, royal cactus, tea leaf, desert rabbits, Valia deliver doesn't. letter to Jiro. <laughs> hmm. Well, it does not have notes written down. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I guess we'll just go with this. <clears throat> perhaps as she she walks away, well, perhaps maybe you guys can check the market and find someone that knows. We'll do. She surely has an assistant that can just prepare it for her. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll probably just have to gift wrap it or something. Uh, Make it look think. presentable. Yeah. Roz will go. Roz. Uh, Kiriko will go. Roz. What was your to-do list? What'd you say? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 makeup kit, royal cactuses, tea leaves, desert rabbits, deliver, deliver a letter to someone named Jiro. How long has it been since we, uh, been traveling? I have no idea. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Kiriko. 
40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> okay, D. Say, um, we'll say it's been 10 days. <clears throat> Alright, so just about a week and a half. Uh, did you at all ever send off a letter with an update to Nineheart? Oh, that's what that letter is. Oh, all right. Oh, well, uh... He's gonna be mad at you, Rose. Eh. Fine, I'll, I'll do it tonight. You better. I have to wake up to another rogue guard just stomping into my room, taking us elsewhere again. How did that happen? In train, remember? Oh. When you were late, because you didn't set the alarm. Uh, that's, that's whatever. Yeah, excuse me, guys. I think I broke the piano. I put it on your tab. Hope you don't mind. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat some more food. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> excuse me? Oh, <laughs> I just look at she. I look at she sweet with my broke, broke eyes. I'm gonna just walk back there. It's like, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Wait, the the piano up here. I'm pretty sure I broke it. Oh yes, my friend. He said uh, you were a good friend with him. He doesn't have money. Uh, it does a uh, thousand gold for new piano. No import fees and all. I I would like to roll stealth check to exit the. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? I'm rolling sorry. We only. Yes. Oh hell! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I quietly leave. I was like, Paco, you're gonna. I think you're gonna be making tacos for quite a while. Well, I mean, Unless... no, that's. You guys can cover it. I gave you all those flowers and stuff, right? Wait, did you say tacos? tacos? Were made of... I love tacos. Oh. Well, for the cost of the piano, I can make you some tacos. You guys got any seasoning? Oh, we got uh, the spices in the kitchen. Uh, not many, though. Just uh, native to Ariant and Magesha. But, uh, yes, we love tacos here. You you make good tacos? Oh, great tacos. Uh, by chance, uh, a whole other thing on the side. Do you guys have any, like, really stale biscuits? Uh, still, yeah, we got stale biscuits from this morning. Uh, what do you need? You need those for, like, what, the breading? Or, uh, oh, no, 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 I just, I just need one still biscuit for something else. Uh, still biscuit, he'll turn around and look at the uh, food plate and... Oh, here you go, sir. Uh, I, I don't know why, but okay. Thanks, appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I'll use that some other time. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to your kitchen and make some tacos. Uh, okay. Uh, please, let me know if you need a... We'll, we'll make a deal. Uh, uh, your recipe, uh, will wave the piano. Uh, no recipe. Uh, you can wing it, I'll make one. Well, you might want to try it before you decide on the recipe. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, I uh... Casually shapeshift into a spider and I'm, I'm chilling on Braz's shoulder. Yeah, uh, it's one day's rations and some seasonings, but it's basically a street taco. Here you go. Oh, uh, street taco? You, you make it, like, on the road? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not quite uh, outside of outside. Uh, usually, like on on other countries, it's more. Uh, you'll find you'll find these food vendors not necessarily in taverns or anything. They might be on the street selling them, not like oh. on the floor. Like they have their own carts. Oh yes, yes, I see. Okay. I'm not stepping back in until he says it's the piano's waved. <laughs> So how do we compensate for the piano, though? Well, that you're going to have to talk to Paco on. Uh, my friend, uh, come on. You you broke the... What did you do to the piano? I, I haven't gone over there yet. I haven't even been over there yet, so I don't. this is the first time hearing of it. 
Well, I started to play it and uh, I was still covered in sand and it got all in between the keys. It started making some weird noises. Oh, it's it already like that. It is desert. It's sandy. Someone left the window but then, open. But then I laid on the string bed and uh, fell through. What? Oh. Huh? <laughs> I closed it, so I mean, you don't, no one really noticed if you just want to keep uh, Show it. me, show me, show me what you did. I'm just fall, because now at this point, I am curious. Okay, so like, I came over here, you know, and uh, I started playing it, and it sounded weird, so I looked inside, but then I got sleepy, and I laid right here. On top of the piano? Well, I mean, I don't want to open it, because it's broken. I don't understand. Why would you sleep on my piano? Why, why wouldn't you sleep on your piano? I mean, like, if you put put your head on the keys to make, like, you know, a ding sound, understandable. But uh, on top of the piano, why? It's not comfy. It looks like a pretty comfy bed to me. I've been sleeping in a, a bone den for a while. Listen, my friend, if you need a room, let me know. This is a simple fix, but if you need a room, you let me know. But oh, I want I want, I want, I want the tacos as payment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I ignore Christ. him when I go to my free room, because he said I could have a room. No. <laughs> uh, where, where do you go? The, where the, my tacos. You're supposed to make best tacos. All right. I get in the bed before he finds me. I am so confused right now. <laughs> Welcome to having taco in the party. <laughs> okay. Wait, what, where'd I go? Oh. oh god. I'm so lost. Uh, All right, I don't know where to find a room. I'm just gonna ignore that one guy. Alright, what are you guys doing? We're making tea again? No, you're making tacos for him. I don't know what you're talking about. We're we making tacos. <laughs> you're you're going to make tacos for him. I, mean, I did make that one taco. Oh my god. My friend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> my friend. He, he said he would make the tacos, and I will give him the room. But I want him to make tacos for everyone here tonight. Well, Val, you're sleepy all right. I'll take all you right, to the well, room. You see, if I'm making tacos for everyone here tonight, you're going to have to provide all of the ingredients. The all ingredients are provided. I will provide you the room, but you have to cook for us tonight. All right, I'm going. Thank you. <laughs> no, hold on. My apology. Uh, hold on, there's a spider. Let me, uh... Oh, I miss. It is fast. Uh... <laughs> And I look at, I'm observing the spider and I'm noticing, wait a minute, Rambi's not here. <laughs> Rambi, is that you? <laughs> hold on, hold on, I get, I, no, wait, wait. He'll, uh, he'll hit Rambi. Stop right here. I aim the biscuit at the spider. Dexterity saving throw. <laughs> you, you better make a strike roll, Taco. <laughs> uh, okay. Stop moving. Stop moving. I'm trying to select you. Well, hope you have good accuracy. You did just get slammed, so. <laughs> he never never hit me. He didn't roll for it. Hit the, let's say uh, hit the table. You go flying upwards. And. Uh, I land on the ceiling. No, you're still mid air. <laughs> this is both time, bro. I, I last one my my spider silk into the the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> as as you're like upside down mid air, Taco lines up the biscuit. Do I roll for advantage because he doesn't expect it? No, no. 
<laughs> normal? I don't know. Yeah, normal. I think I should get advantage because I'm so small. Okay, fine. Go ahead, Ermi. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Chucks the biscuit at the spider. Hits it that? upon hit. Uh, get him. Get him, Paco. Upon hit, Rami turns into a, back into his form. And just smacks down onto the table. Oh! Uh, what the heck? Know, sir, Where did she know. come from? <laughs> well, <laughs> she was the spider. <laughs> she, the... Uh, the one character casually starts co covering herself up since she uh, got knocked into shapeshift. Clothes didn't go. The clothes go with you. Scurries off. Not this. Oh, yeah, I told him. I told him that was his taco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rami's a free spirit. That one. <laughs> I'm back with my clothes. Okay, well, I kind of confused, yeah, but um, I guess uh, the street me, tacos. If you could make at least a hundred of them for the people in the tavern tonight, two each. Oh, yeah, look in the kitchen. I got four pots of barrera tacos. Uh, the meat is stewing, and then I got a whole thing of tortillas in your oven. Okay. The fire pit. Where did you okay. get tortillas from? Where did I get tortillas from? I used all that dry bread. And I used some of the fat, his, uh, his lard. And then we made our tortillas. <laughs> Guess we'll see tonight. So, my friends, uh, so, well, since he made the food, uh, what'd you do today? So, uh, since it's, uh, you know, like almost four o'clock, what, what'd you do uh. today? Oh, we just did a small trip outside. Yes, I uh, heard you found a uh, taco man. Woman, sorry. Yeah, no, she was the rare find of the day. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently was... She got caught up in a sandstorm. Uh, or the previous one. See, I told you sandstorms are really bad in here. You gotta be careful. Yeah. Otherwise you get stuck. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Though, I'm more puzzled how she's alive, but at this point... Not gonna question that. I was stuck there so long, I'm starting to really miss my rabbit friends. Maybe we can go see them on our way out. Hand over another paw. Do they sell rabbit paw? <laughs> oh, rabbit's paw! <laughs> Your tiger friend seems to have a lot of rabbit paws. Is that a popular thing in this town? I don't know where where uh, Rami got that from. I just casually smile and wave. I'm gonna go ahead and sit <laughs> over here. <clears throat> Saying all this ridiculousness, I'm just gonna go back upstairs and start writing my letter. Uh, so, you've rescued them, and then what? You just come back, and then no other sightseeing? Uh, well, we were also just looking at to see if, like, we could figure out anything about the pyramids, uh, that we were hearing about, but nothing's, we haven't heard anything so far on that, or at least anything that would help us find it or anything like that. Uh, while the owner is busy, can I pickpocket with these two guys? I'm just going to go to my room. <laughs> I, I don't know that, man. <laughs> I'll leave him be, I'll leave him be, I'll leave him be. Just go over here. That okay, reminds well, me. Uh, so, uh, was what, just a quick journey? Uh... Saw some cactuses, yeah, was, got him out of the uh, sand, nothing else? And, uh, Paco no, and, that was pretty much it. It was too hot out, so we came back to converse here in the tavern. That reminds me, Paco. Uh, you need to... Uh, you need to go out to the... Um, 
the oasis right beside the tavern. The oasis besides the tavern? Yeah, you need to, uh... Oh, I'm trying to remember what the... the Basically, you either need you need to do either one of a couple of things. You either need to drink the water that's over there. You need to you could bathe yourself in it. You need to interact with it in some way. Oh yes, yes. Make sure to uh, purify yourself. Yeah, and uh, who knows? You what? might be able to find more pieces of your friends. I mean, uh, more of your rabbit friends out there. What do you guys mean by purify myself? I need to be in water. I don't really want to go in any water right now. I feel great. Long story short, it's basically to uh, earn the respect of the the people in the in Orient here. If you want people okay. eating your tacos, you probably want to do that first. I thought sand was an ingredient in this country. What? Uh... what? <laughs> Can I get an insight check on that? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think nothing of that. <laughs> you just kind of like look at him and go, okay. Can't tell if you're lying or acting stupid. <laughs> That's that's my conclusion. <laughs> so anyway, you should. Oh, go ahead. So my friend, you 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 you're safe though. You didn't bother any of the cactuses. You didn't uh, you didn't see the big one. Oh, we saw the big one and we chose you, not to mess with it. You wait. You you did see the big one. Yes. What do you like? What did it look like? Um, let's see. It's not good. Uh, yeah, hang on. I think I got this. Uh, you guys got any loot for you by chance in this tavern? Uh, no whipped cream. It melt too fast. Uh, anything light? Food sort. Here, I'll just grab this pie over here. Uh, and I come back and uh, I give him a beard with it, and then I'm like, it looks like that. No, oh, basically had white eyebrows, uh, what looked like a red vest, a cane, uh, looked like it had a little turban on its head with a red jewel and red feather. Yeah, he'll, uh, it looks like that. He'll, uh, put his hand to his temple and go, oh no, oh no. It, it didn't follow you, did it? Oh no. Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say them like uh, after had seen it, and then we basically just like left. No. As far as we could tell, didn't follow us. Oh no. Uh, Is there a problem? Uh, it's no good. No good at all. Oh no. Um. Let me go. Let me... I, and he'll, like, run out the door. I don't like the sound of this. No, I'm gonna uh, follow. I, I'm gonna choose to follow. <laughs> at this point, he's already gone. We'll just say he's already gone at this point. Or the tavern. You, I you can't rush here. after him? No. Yeah. Okay. Because I want to end up Okay. Because Ram said he has to leave. Right, right, right. Uh, while the owner's gone, I fit pocket some of the spices. If you guys wanted to keep going for the other 30 minutes, you could just say, like, my character went upstairs to rest, got a headache or something. I did. Just like a... I did throw a biscuit at you. Oh, if he's left, we might as well just go to our room, or go to our room for now. Uh, 
Because the owner did say I get a room. Is there another room that I can have in my own room? No, yeah, I guess. You sleep in the hallway. <laughs> I assume it's the. It's our. Well, I guess it wouldn't be our room because we don't have a lot of beds. Hey, where, what is this? Can I have this room? Yeah, that's the room, eh? Wait, what's this room? That's the room I'm giving you. Oh, it works. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> Casually hand over uh, a quarter of a half eaten biscuit and wink at Taco. Wait, why is this thing in my bed? And I just. I'm paranoid ever since. So we'll say you guys are, uh, we'll wrap up in the meeting room. I'm back. Uh, I couldn't open the door, so I just left my guy out here. It's all good. You're in the room now. Okay. In the session Call it here. off with, uh, you guys pondering what that might have meant. And how to move forward with uh, uh, how to help the queen. Cool. Mm. All right, good sesh, everyone. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, one of the the more fun sessions, I'd have to say for sure. I enjoyed uh, a lot of the combat. Win. And I got him to call man wild, so. Well, you got yeah, critting on things can be fun. <laughs> you crit like four times today? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, and Volley got yeah, critted it against. Crit but uh, Rambi, when they found me, I said, uh, well, basically, thank you for finding me. Uh, yeah, I got trapped in the sand. Uh, the local rabbit creatures have been bringing me food and water. The only ones that could reach me, but they couldn't pull me out. I'm surprised the cactus couldn't pull you out with its strength. The rabbit creatures bring you food and water because you're trapped and we're out here killing them. I'm just giving you their uh, their limbs paw by paw. Yeah, but that's what I said when they found me. I was like, I haven't seen them today. I hope they're okay. We'll travel past them, you know, just see all of them just massacred all over the desert sand. Just like, oh my gosh, like, huh, I wonder how that got there. Well, they seen the one cactus and one identical object, does it? I'll never know unless we pass by again. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, I'm gonna go get myself ready. GG's. Alright, enjoy your evenings. Well, thanks for having you me. Too. That was fun. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Take it easy, everyone. Yep. yep see you guys. Night.